guys welcome back to the channel and happy Easter so when we're launching this video it should be Easter Sunday so uh, a very happy Easter to you all I thought today as the weather's been so glorious this Easter week um, I take a drive out in Oscar I need to drop off some Easter eggs to my team at work so I'm gonna drop those off uh, and then just nip to the shops as well on the way I spent most of today down at, um, down at our allotment which is absolutely glorious um, getting our beds ready getting them dug over definitely think we could start an allotment channel coming up on um, April 23rd is drive it day um, I hope all you guys are getting involved in that all you classic owners uh, it's for a really good cause um, all the funds if you buy a plaque go to uh, child line and uh, it's just a really good cause to um, to support but also you know it's a really good way just to get everybody out on the road in their classic cars. So the 23rd, myself and Liam are going to travel up to the peaks. Uh, we're going to meet up with some other people up there. So there should be Oscar going. Uh, Maggie might be making an appearance. I'm not sure what the plan is with Maggie yet. But then we're definitely going out with a Lotus Elite, a Triumph Spitfire and an Austin A35 as well. So that'll be really nice to get that kind of comparison between the A40 and the A35 side by side really nice to do on the channel and then the plan is really we're just going to go for a, a drive out the guys we're meeting in the peaks um, know the area really well so hopefully they can take some nice destinations it's almost going to be a bit like a I guess a travel vlog um, with some nice scenic shots of the cars lots of car footage different cars as well this time um, we should be really great so we've got that one coming up the weekend after that then we've got HRDC Donington as well so the historic racing um, at Donington should be a great event I think it's a really big one at Donington Park um, so the previous owner of Oscar will be there racing his A40 which has the same number plate as Oscar um, and it'd be really nice if we can to try and get the two cars lined up next to each other I don't know how possible that'll be because obviously Simon will be racing his car but we'll see what we can do um, and get some footage of the racing I just absolutely love that the old racing cars um, and getting those you know just that vibe from it the sound the smell everything there's just there's such a, a lovely atmosphere around those events I've also got in July I've just signed up for um, and I, I think it's really nice so last year I went to uh, a classic car show in the Warsaw Arboretum and it was the first classic car event proper kind of classic car event I've been to great event eclectic mix of cars um, but that event was really the catalyst for me getting Oscar um, Liam was at the show as well at the time and he was showing his moggy and uh, Liam's wife joked at the time and said how long do you think it'll be before he gets a classic car and then literally like a month later uh, Oscar was being delivered so um, it didn't take long at all it just feels full circle really to go back this year but take Oscar along actually get him as part of one of the uh, one of the show cars there um, and display the A40s for how great they are last year at that show there was no A40s so it'd be lovely this year to get Oscar down there and put the word out amongst the A40 club as well because they're quite rare cars you find that you know we're quite spaced out across the country and it's quite difficult I think for the club to arrange meetings um, but I already have um, one person come back and say that they're going to try and attend so it'd be really nice just to see some uh, some A40 owners there have a chat with them um, and also just like I say just show the cars off for how great they are because I think they are a beautiful car and particularly for their time I said in the other videos when you look at when they were produced and all the other cars that were kind of out and about at that time, particularly from um, BMC. I think they look fantastic and so modern. But that's just my humble opinion. So we've got a number of events lined up. We've also got a couple of ones penciled in that we need to plan out. So a trip across sort of out towards Iron Bridge um, into Church Stretton and we found a nice location just on the outskirts of Church Stretton, really scenic, so we can get the cars into, do some drone footage, things like that. So I think that'd be great. So jobs-wise for Oscar, 
I've got a number of jobs that are kind of outstanding on Oscar and they're things that don't need to be done urgently but they were kind of items that I thought oh that would be a good upgrade we would get that done um, and kind of as time's gone on Oscar's been reliable um, there hasn't really been much there's no wood in here to touch but touch wood you know he's uh, he hasn't needed substantial amounts doing when I first got him I had to change the starter motor because that packed up within like the first couple of weeks of having him um, and uh, I replaced his Armstrong shocks on the front but other than that really mechanically he's been pretty good um, so at Christmas the wife asked me you know is there anything you want for Christmas blah 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 and at the time I thought oh let's go for electronic ignition that'll be a good upgrade but actually you know I serviced the points I checked the gaps um, keep them clean and I've never really had a problem even through the really cold winter that we had I was constantly running Oscar you know as much as I can um, I never really had an issue so I'm kind of I'm a little bit wary of messing with them shop is done just stuff in my face so on the jobs list as well we've got um, a spin on oil filter conversion kit uh, before the peaks I was planning to put it on um, but I left it quite late to do the oil change and I wanted to get the oil change done for the peaks trip uh, if you haven't seen that video I'll pop a link up in the top of the screen um, but basically I went to do it uh, and you have to take off the existing filter housing remove that from the block which the the bolts from the actual um, filter housing came off perfectly that go into the block but there's then um, an oil feeder pipe which goes from the filter housing up and into the block a little bit further up I could not get that thing to budge at all um, so because time was of the, eff of the essence I had um, a filter cartridge um, in my little store cupboard so I thought I'll just go for the standard uh, oil filter change and absolutely hate that old style filter casing that is on the A series engine I had oil dripping down my arm um, I thought I got it all sealed perfectly got a bit cocky took the drip tray out started up the engine absolute error because oil just dripped out everywhere just poured out dripped is is very uh, conservative it poured everywhere straight out so uh, got the drip tray back under took it off tried to realign it again on the rubber ring which was all the issue was so it, it just when I was tightening up the um, the casing it kind of slid across on the um, on the rubber ring and just left a gap and it all just came out of there I should have spotted it really I should have double checked and looked around it which now I will do going forwards got a little bit of a rattle on the back I think it sounds like the exhaust is knocking so you need to have a little look into that but um, yeah I'm pretty sure it's the exhaust I had it before where one of the bobbins failed um, and where the bracket sits up against on the bobbins got bobbin here bobbin here it failed on that side and then what was happening the exhaust was banging against the Armstrong shock on the back um, on the passenger side so sounds quite similar to that and those bobbins are horrendous um, it's like metal it almost looks like it's just melted or glued onto the rubber and any sort of pressure on it they just split apart from each other so I wouldn't be surprised if it's that so I need to have a check as a unit there for let it's been for let for ages it's very tempting just to uh, park some cars in there and use it as a workshop but prices are rent for places now seems crazy they speak to quite a few people at shows and stuff and they say oh yeah we've got a, a unit for nine cars it cost me like 300 quid a month I'm like where do you find these places it's the absolute dream you know myself and Liam would go halves on something like that that'd be perfect to get loads of stuff done but I think those are the kind of places that you know, you know a guy down the pub or something that's got something going and you just get get lucky with it. 
but I can't find anything like that on the internet and really couldn't probably afford much more than that either. If anyone knows of any units going local in the Midlands that are about 300 quid a month, let me know. It'd be great. It'd certainly boost the content on the channel. The little studio and everything. Well, once again, guys, happy Easter. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you are enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next video. Cheerio.